one thing I remember from before. But the middle and later on after that is the main issue <laughs> because I don't know exactly from one point to another the con- Who's there? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's you. Well, you're early. I, I suppose we may as well begin. Fellow acolytes of academia, and of the world, I sit before you on the trembling cusp of a most magnanimous announcement of presenting humankind with what, in my more than learned opinion, is the single finest work of fiction ever created. I speak, of course, of the Lost Kingdoms. Of Leotswind, a fantasy adventure trilogy I have been writing for the past 22 years. The first novel of said trilogy, The Eight Walls of Rogar, was penned in the heady drunken splendor of my misspent youth, and is thus brimming with the vigor, majesty, and naivete of that time. The second novel, though it sickens me to use such pedantic words to describe something which so thoroughly and obviously transcends the genre, exhibits a blatant disregard for the shackles of convention and as such, is most aptly named The Stare of Time. Now, what can I say about The Stare of Time? A singular work, to be sure. And although this will no doubt incite the ridiculous rattling of sabers and cries for my immediate excommunication from so-called civilized society, it is, simply put, far superior to anything anyone has ever done, ever. Indeed, it not only transcends the preposterously narrow parameters and perceptions of the genre, but, dare I say it, of life itself. The third book of the trilogy my personal favorite, remains defiantly nameless. At some point in the distant future, in the unlikely event that I should deem humankind worthy of receiving this unparalleled gift, I shall begin to consider the possibility of not just starting, but finishing the final novel in my stunningly epic trilogy the Lost Kingdoms of Leotswind. They'll try to stop me, you know. Oh, yes. To silence the rabid convolutions of my mind before the indescribably tragic day of my death. What would they not do? But I shan't allow it. It's laughable, really. May as well try to stop the sun from rising. The cocks from crowing at said sun and the children from playing hopscotch in the myriad fields and alleyways once said sun is fully risen. Preposterous and laughable if you ask me. But as I so eloquently put it, I shan't... Al Simply put, it will set the world on fire leaving naught behind but purity, bliss, and succulent manna for all. Now, in closing, 
I would thank you for your time. But since I feel... Nay, I know you should be thanking me for mine. I shall not. I refuse to fall victim to the exponential frivolities.